Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Josh Lynch. In today's video, I wanted to do a brief overview talking about this mask generator node that's part of uh, the utility node pack 01 that's available on my store. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, what I have here is a normal map from textures.com. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. And a lot of the, if not all of the textures.com uh, scan normal maps or OpenGL. So what happens is when you plug it into the Art of Josh Lynch mask generator, you'll notice that things kind of look backwards. So what we have to do is come up here into this normal flip, and I'm going to change it from DirectX to OpenGL. And you can see this data starts to match more closely with the normal map. So the first mask type that we have here is peaks and crevices. And so by default, when you plug in any normal map like this is the first one that's gonna come up. And we have a slider here for reveal amount and it does just kind of like what it, what it says. It's gonna reveal uh, the data. So you have that and then you can contrast it up. And then I also have this volume control and I really like this. Uh, by default, it's at six and <clears throat> What it does is it allows you to kind of increase or tighten up the mask detail here. So if I kind of zoom in and I raise this volume control up, you can see it kind of gets bigger and the lower I go, it gives me more uh, tight, and tight details here. And then if I come back up here, there's again in the peaks and crevices toggle, if I click that, now I get the crevices. So this is really nice if you want like a lot of like crack detail or something like that. You'll notice that in the normal map, there's plenty of that here. Or if you just wanted to get a quick outline around things, this is a really good way to do that. So I can sit here all day and kind of tune this. <laughs> so we'll just move on. Um, the next one we have is vertical. And so this is just like you're either you're either going um, from the top or the bottom, right? So if I if I flip this here, you can see we have the basically the bottom uh, vertical detail or the top. And again, same controls, reveal amount, contrast, and then volume control. So it comes in pretty handy. There's a lot of flexibility within this. And then we have horizontal, which is just like your left and your right. And again, it has a toggle, reveal amount, contrast, and volume control. So you probably start to see a little bit of a theme here. Um, when I'm working, these are some of the things that I turn to when I'm like uh, working on any of my materials and I'm trying to get uh, really detailed masks for my albedos or my roughnesses, roughnesses, my roughness maps. <laughs> uh, so let's move on to the next one. So we have occlusion here. And this one has a little bit more uh, sliders, right? So uh, the occlusion amount is like the higher you go, the more kind of inflated it looks. And then the lower you go, again, it's kind of like a tighter detail. The radius here, again, something kind of self-explanatory, but it just kind of tightens up the detail. And then we have sharpness. So if you lower the sharpness, actually, let me undo a little bit. If you lower the sharpness, you can kind of see this gets a little bit more soft. And then if I crank it up, you get really tight, tight details here. So there's tons of data in this normal map and this mass generator is gonna really bring it out. Uh, there's also height intensity, so you can crank that up or lower it. There's also the reveal amount, which is similar to uh, the previous uh, mass, mass types that we've looked at, contrast. And then there's something in here called gamma adjust, which just kind of like allows you to uh, inflate or decrease the brightness. Then we have shadow. And you'll notice some similar sliders here. So there's detail sharpness, 
height intensity, shadow size. And then there's this slider here, which changes it from uniform to directional. So as soon as I go to directional, then I can kind of spin this around. So it gives you some flexibility there. And then there's planar facing, which I really like because it's just like a, a top. If you're looking at it, like if you think from the top down, you just see, uh, see the, it's like a projection, right? So again, I have a reveal amount so I can go really bright. I can lower it down, contrast, and then uh, gamma adjust. And then I have a planar facing invert here, which is cool. Like it kind of just gives you a different look. Okay. So the edges one is really nice as well. Um, it just picks up a lot of the edges kind of detail. Like if I zoom into this part, you can see there's this pink detail going into the green and this is captured right here. So again, similar sliders. I really tried to make it uh, not jarring going from mask type to mask type and then gamma adjust as well. So you could really like throw that up. And then the next one and the final one is light angle. Now I really like this one. Um, this was definitely not in uh, the older version. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, once you once you pick mass type as light angle, then it gives you this drop down of uh, light angle type. So you have global, horizontal, and vertical. So let's go ahead and start with global. I'm just going to spin this around. So it just is like what it sounds like. It's the light angle. I'm able to kind of get some direction here. I have reveal amount and then I have contrast amount. Uh, so this is like it says global. So as soon as we drop into horizontal, this one's really cool because it's like if I drag this slider down or drag this dial down, it goes, it's like starting on the left side right? And if I drag it down, it goes to black. But if I go up, then it starts to become more planar facing. And then if I go to the right more, it starts to go like toward the right. And then on the right side, I can kind of get a nice mask that way as well. So I like this for like, if you just want to kind of go like a little bit like from the left or from the right, and you just kind of want to do some like uh, blend in different colors or something like that. It's really nice or noise, noise detail in your normal map. And then we have vertical. So this is much like the horizontal. Um, it's going to start from one direction. And then if I drag this way, we kind of go more top down and then we work our way to the bottom, right? So yeah, I hope this was helpful. Again, I just wanted to do like a, a brief run through of all the functionality and kind of talking about my intent with the node. It's worth noting that this is version two of the node. So this will be free for you uh, if you've already purchased the, the Node Pack 01, this is like a bonus. And if you haven't purchased it yet, um, thanks for checking out this video and hopefully it kind of gives you some insight into what uh, the mass generator in, in the node pack does for you. So thanks for tuning in. Have a good one.